everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pam. Today I am a little nervous, but excited to talk about my plan to pan for makeup for 2024. As you guys can see, I have this box, oh, thank you Boxstrap for recycling here, uh, chock full of makeup items that I would like to pan in 2024. Now what's different about this plan to pan compared to the ones for skincare and for nail polish is that in here I am still featuring items that are in projects already because the plan is to pan them in 2024. It's a little bit different. Makeup takes me longer than nail polish and skincare, and I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything as well. It is currently December 2nd when I'm filming this. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this video, so of course you may see um, items that have progress that haven't been updated quite yet in projects, so some spoilers if you haven't seen that yet. But again, things in here are things that will not be panned this year, but they're still gonna be ongoing for next year. So that's what I'm doing with it. So it's not going to be everything that I'm planning to panic. So for example, I'm not going to line up every mascara, every primer, every foundation because I don't want to be too prescriptive either. So I do want to give myself flexibility on what I want to use up for the whole year. But a couple of things to get me started is what I've got in this box. I don't have any mascara in this box because you know it's a little bit on the boring side. I am working on the benefit one right now and then once that's done, we'll roll and roll and just keep going. So. Yeah, not an exhaustive list, but it's a list to get us started and to start thinking about what I want to do for the next year. So without further ado, let's go through the box, kind of based on order of application. I'm going to start with the item that, is it makeup? Is it body care? I don't know where exactly it falls, but let's talk about this familiar item for you guys. If you caught Graveyard Project Pam. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil. This smells fantastic. Like, oh, it's lovely. Um, I was panning this in Graveyard Project Pan, so in six months, I got it from here to here. Obviously, I still have a long way to go with this. You do obviously have to shake it before you use it. So, I have not used it, I don't think, since I, that project ended, which is not great, but, you know, it's also cold. So hopefully over holiday and then spring, summer, really going to try to push this guy. Let's start off with eyeshadow. Um, so I only have one powder eyeshadow because again, I don't really do a pan that palette, pan those eyeshadows. Um, I'm much more of like a usage rolling type of person for that with the exception of this one. This is my CoverGirl single eyeshadow in the shade Champagne. I have been working on this one for quite some time. And a lot of pan in there, a lot of eyeshadow left. But I'm working on this one in This Is Fantasy. I'm hoping to have it done. Um, I do use this every single day though as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. So basically every single video, maybe with a rare exception, that's what you've been seeing on those places on me. Now, a uh, little bit of a problematic area in my eyeshadow collection has to do with my liquid and cream shadow. So let's start with the more visually impressive one, which is my Maybelline Cream Eyeshadow. It's the color Tattoo in the shade Socialite. I am wearing it today. I've been wearing it so much, you guys. Um, but I am finally making substantial progress. It's a little bit glary, so I will show you guys from the back so you can see how big that pan has gone. Obviously, there's still some shadow on this side. I'm trying to work through that I can just kind of clear all of this out. Um, usage, I think, is going to be stopped at this point because I am wearing it today for the 60th time this year. You know, two solid months of the year I've been wearing this eyeshadow. Um, so I've met my goal for partners in cream, so a little spoiler there, but you bet this is going to be back next year to finish because it's close. And now that there's so much pan, there's also so much air in here and, you know, it's, it's drying out a bit. But then into my liquid eyeshadows. I've got a lot of them and I, I do try really hard not to open them until I'm actually going to use them and just kind of go top to bottom with them. So one of the ones that I have open right now, this is a throwback 30 at the moment, is from House Laboratories. This is like their shimmer attack, whatever, liquid eyeshadow in flash. It is a beautiful silver color. It feels very holiday and glam and 
I like these. I really do. I don't think they exist anymore, but I like them a lot. So this one, I think I'm actually getting close to needing to take the stopper out. Uh, you can't see anything down there, but it just doesn't get much on the brush anymore. Like even when you're doing a whole lot of scrapey scrapey, but it's still going to take a long time after I take the stopper out. So that's that one. The other one, which I've kind of referred to a little bit throughout the year, is my Lorac Eye Gloss. I had finished two of these this year. Um, the purple one, which was my favorite, there was just a little bit left. I finished that in Finish 7 by Spring. And then in Deck of Penny, I finished the blue one. This is the Lorac Luxe Eye Gloss in At Sunset. So it, it's really beautiful. It's red, pink, purple, gold, um, bronzy maybe, I don't know. It's, yeah, there's some bronze in there. It's just so pretty. It's so gorgeous. It's unopened at this point. My anticipation would probably be for Graveyard Project Man. It has a collecting cobwebs item. I got a lot of highlighter that I'm trying to use up. So, ooh, let's talk about this, you guys. Let's start with the ones that are in projects currently. So right now in my Dungeons & Dragons project plan, the classic black liquid eyeliner. This is from uh, Serafina Botanicals, the Luna Liner supposed to be water resistant liquid eyeliner looks like this it's not the most flexible but it works pretty well um and again the problem with these kind of eyeliners you don't know when they're done until they're done so this is in a project already we'll get used on that it really depends what i'm rolling in for projects like liquid eyeshadows i tend to use more of a liquid liner also in a project right now is the Lancome. This is the Art Liner 24 Hours. It's in some kind of green shade. Uh, it's in Throwback 30 right now for 30 uses. And what I've noticed with this eyeliner is I think it's getting lower down um, because there's not a lot that comes out on the brush. Now this isn't my favorite kind of application. I much prefer like the pen style compared to this. Um, and I don't know if it's just the eyeshadows I've been layering this on top of or what, but it's definitely not as pigmented, which makes me think maybe this is getting kind of low. So we'll see. Obviously it's in for 30 uses right now. Um, I'm not yet halfway on my goal on that, so it'll take a little bit to get there. But hopefully in that project or something after it, I can get this green done. because it's a very nice green. Also in a project in Roses Are Red, which is a usage project, 14 times in preparation for Valentine's Day, we have the CoverGirl Coal Exhibitionist Liner in 500 Burgundy. I am wearing it today. Can you tell? Maybe. Maybe. A little bit right there. Um, against the lash line. It is a very nice burgundy color. You can tell I need to sharpen it. Um, so there's still a lot of eyeliner left. But I feel like it goes somewhat quickly, maybe. And it has probably been definitely open for more than 30 months. So we should get this one knocked out. And then finally, for eyeliner, I know I got a lot of eyeliner I want to use up. Um, colorful eyeliner is not really my thing. And I should know better than buying a bunch of purple and blue and green and all of these fun colors. Uh, but this is Quo Beauty. This is the Liquid Precision Marker in Ultraviolet. Um, I love this eyeliner. It's more flexible. Uh, in terms of like that tip there, nice and liquidy. And I would prefer a deeper purple personally, but this is a nice purple eyeliner. One milliliter of product. It's gonna take a long time to get this finished, but it's been open for a while. And so I should, I should get this one done. Let's get into the face a little bit. So starting off with the primer, the current primer I am using is the Laura Mercier, the Pure Canvas Primer. It's the illuminating version. And as you guys can see, I've been making lots of really good progress as these marks are slowly fading. Um, we are getting towards the last update for Partners in Cream, which this one's currently featured in. So like there's still product in here. It's not gonna be done, but it's somewhere lower down. And I also want to do the primer that's currently also in Roses Are Red that is currently untouched, which is the Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer. So I haven't used it yet, but I figure I probably should get going on it six months after opening. Not opened yet, but I've gotta, gotta go. Gotta get working on some primers. Obviously there's other primers I want to pan as well, but I figured these would be some good ones to get us started, plus they're both in projects. Also in Partners in Cream is my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Um, again, we're getting towards the next update. 
Again, we're getting towards the next update. This is where I was about a month ago. We're now down to here. I use one pump every single day. Um, so I do want to get this one done. But I think once I get to the Partners and Cream finale, I will take a short break from this foundation, which is not normally what I do. Normally I just use a foundation top to bottom and then move to the next one. But this one, it's, it's, a, it's a lighter foundation, so it like feels more serum -y. So I kind of want to do this foundation here that came to me in a box of charm a while ago because I this I believe is more of a full coverage foundation so I think I would prefer that in the winter months so I kind of want to use it more before springtime hits which is why I might take that break so as soon as partners and cream is done I might transition over to the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation this is in the shade one cool hopefully that's my shade if it ends up being a terrible shade mask match, I'll have to get rid of it. Here's the foundation here. It looks so gorgeous. I am not going to mark this packaging. I really doubt by the time I get to it. Nice little pump. Obviously have not used this item before. But I, again, because I believe this is supposed to be more of like a, a matte finish, which is generally not my favorite. I prefer like glowy, radiant, all of that good stuff. Um, I kind of want to use this in the winter and see how I like it. And then once this one's done, I'll go back and finish the bourgeois. So that's kind of my thinking thought at this point in time. The concealer I'm working on is a big one. This is, again, Partners in Cream. This is the Item Beauty Air Hug Concealer in shade 110. I have been using this for two months now, and it has a lot of product in here, you guys. It's got 10.8 milliliters of concealer. So there, it's... It's a lot, there's a lot. There is no windowing happening. There's lots of stuff coming out on that doe foot. And uh, this is the only concealer I've been using. I've been using it under the eyes, which again, I kinda wanna use something else under the eyes, but whatever. I'm lazy, haven't gone there yet. I use it for spot concealing, which hopefully you can't tell too much. Uh, there's a lot of spots that are needing to be concealed at this point in time. So this is getting decent use. So this is gonna take a long time though. So you'll probably see it again in Partners of Cream. Powder. Oh my gosh, guys. Powder takes me forever because uh, I have more like normal skin. So I just use it to set under the eye concealer to set here so it doesn't get all crazy. Um, and a little bit of mattifying right up here. This is my nude by nature. This is the, what is this? Translucent Loose Finishing Powder in 04 Banana. It was in Graveyard Project Pan. It is currently in um roses are red for 14 uses i can't get it to line up right now but it's like there basically from this last line it hasn't moved because i haven't used it since it rolled out so there's still so much powder in here uh 10 grams of powder i don't use a lot of powder now this one this is one of the products i'm nervous about this is the milk makeup this is their uh lip and cheek item in the shade work uh it came to sephora favorites kit as you guys know from throwback 30 i'm trying to hit pan on two different cream blushes one of them is the fenty cheeks out in summertime wine the other one is the natasha denona in the cupid cheek duo so again one's kind of like a darker red one's a light pink this one is a different color altogether so again at least that gives me a little bit of variety Looks like this. If it's a lip and cheek item, I only use it on one or the other. And this one I have been using on my cheeks. Let's see how much is left. I have used some of it, as you may be able to tell, but I still have a lot of it left. So I don't, don't know if this is something I could fully pan next year, um, but I will give it a shot. Oh, I've used it more than I thought. Like, look how far down that goes. You get a lot of blush in this little sample size, so. Hopefully, hopefully I can get a lot of this used up. Ideally finished would be nice um, just because it has been open for a while and the shelf life is supposed to be uh, one year. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so we'll see. Next up, let's talk setting sprays. I don't have a setting spray in any of my projects right now, um, but since Graveyard Project Pen ended and I finished the one that was in Throwback 30, I have been using this one from Pixie. This is the Hello Kitty collaboration version of the Makeup Fixing Mist Rose Water and Green Tea Makeup Spray. Um, it's okay. Uh, there's the line or the line of the product right there. I haven't marked it, but I've used up half of this so far. So I'm just going to keep going. The mist is a little bit aggressive. Rose isn't my favorite scent, but at least this one's not too bad. 
So I'd like to just get this one out. When that one is done, I am gonna treat myself with what I'm looking forward to, which is still in the box, Ciate London. This is their Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. So I'm, I'm a little bit excited about it. Looks like this, so 75 milliliters in there. We've got this kind of spray, so it's exactly the same as the Pixie one. I think I'm picking up on a watermelon, which is nice, um, but obviously I haven't used it yet, so can't tell you anything about it, but that's the one I am planning on using next. All right, that's gonna bring me to a very ambitious item next. Um, you guys will have seen my depotting marathon, um, so make sure you check that out. Declutter number eight. This is a bronzer. It came from the Physician's Formula Butter Collection. This one was in the Sunset Bronze shade. So for me, this is more of like my summer bronzer. So I can't use it, you know, like half the year or so. The goal, and you can maybe see that ring in the middle. At the very least, I want to hit pan because I don't know if I'll fully be able to finish because there's so much bronzer in there and like you can go overboard with this shade, at least on my skin tone. So we'll say at the very least, I do want to hit pan on that one. But from the same collection, we had the highlighter, which I have very little left because I dropped it and it a lot of it failed on the floor. But not all of it did. So I was using a lot of this in Graveyard Project Pan. This is what's left of the Golden Hour highlighter, again from that Physicians Formula Butter Palette. So just a little bit of highlighter left. Just that, that's it. This is a summer shade though. I cannot use it this time of year. It is too deep for me, but I can get away with it if I get a summer tan. So that is my goal. That's what I would like to do. And then I'll have a pan that I can actually press other face products into. So that's gonna be really exciting. And of course I do have that in my palette where I have bronzers. These are bronzers here blushes, highlighters. We have finally the lip category, and I've got a lot of items in here. Some of them are familiar to you, some of these are brand new. Um, and again, thanks to lip service, I know I can pan lip products now, which is so exciting. Um, so let's start with one that's in a project. This is the Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Lip Primer. It's supposed to prime your lips. Um, it is clear, it has this much left. It is currently in Roses Are Red. So not much left in that. I would like to get it done because it's been open for a while because I tend to be bad at using this kind of item. In terms of my lip liners, now lip liner is a category, like I don't, have I purchased a lip liner myself? I don't know, maybe I have, but I get them mainly in BoxyCharm or at, like as gifts or in gift bags or like all of these different sources. And I just, I'm gonna use a lip liner all over the lip. I, I don't use them for what they're really intended for because I don't like, on myself at least, a super defined lip look. I like my emphasis up on the eyes. So let's start off with the one that's in a project right now. This is in deck of panning for my Joker item. Because as you guys can tell, I tend to go a little bit more nude on the lips, although as today I'm wearing a metallic lipstick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Roses are red, you can blame that project. But this is my NYX lip liner. This is, uh, I don't know, fairly long name, in Subversive Socialite. It is purple, very purple. But it's also getting quite short because my like sharpener seems to eat this or the pencil seems to break a lot so you really have to sharpen a lot down. So because of that, let's just get it done because it's getting short and then I don't have a purple, uh, I was gonna say purple eyeliner, a purple lip liner in my collection. Again, purple can look absolutely gorgeous on other people, but I don't really like it on myself. So I wanna get that one out. I have two lip liners from Ace Beauté. This came in a duo. These are the So Gorgeous. I don't know. It's an Ace Beauté lip liner. This is the red. It is currently in lip service for 10 uses. Um, they scroll up and down. I, I don't know how much is in here. Um, it's a lovely red. I like this one. It's a beautiful red. So I am enjoying wearing this one. And then I have gotten a little bit of use on the Bee Peachy, which is kind of like a nudie brown color, which looks like this. Less use on this one compared to the red, but I would like to get both of those out. Because again, I kind of want to get all the lip liners out. Liquid lip 
lipsticks. Uh, currently in lip service is my CoverGirl Melting Matte Pout Matte in Ballerina. Um, so my last progress mark was here. And you can definitely see, like, there's some windowing down here. Like, it's just so hard. Yeah, like, you can see there's definitely a lot of movement happening. But it's not settling nicely, which is problematic. So I haven't been able to mark this accurately in a little while. But because there's only, I want to say 3.5 milliliters of product. Yeah, 3.5 milliliters of product. There's not a lot. So I would like to get this one done. Get another lip product out of my collection. And then what I'm actually kind of enjoying, just because it looks so fancy. Um, this was rolled into, this is Pantasy. The Ace Beauté. This is their liquid lipstick in Manifest. Now this color on its own, no good. It just washes me out. But as a layering item, like, I'll, I can get some use out of it. Super long doe foot. Um, again, it doesn't, doesn't settle the best, but you know, there's, there's some windowing as we kind of go down. So I want to, I gotta get this one out because I have to layer. I don't like taking a lot of extra steps with my products. This is my Ilia lipstick in color block. Rosette. It is in, this is fantasy as my dragon items because it is a full size liquid, just a full size lipstick, not a liquid lipstick. Um, this is how much I have left. That tip finally broke off the other day. This one though is difficult because I keep this in my work bag as my lipstick I can apply after lunch. So progress is kind of maybe slow on it, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, the reason why I want to use it, it can you, I don't know if that's going to show on camera. But like that little bit of, not texture, but like condensation there. So I just kind of want to get it used up. It seems fine. Scent is fine so far. I've used a decent amount. So that is in a project to pan already for this year. For 50 uses in It's Pan and Cats and Dogs, I currently have this L'Oreal lipstick in uh, the L'Oreal Fallible H14 Forever Frap, Forever Frappy lipstick. Um, and I am enjoying this one. But it's also, that's how much I have left, so I kind of just want to finish it. Um, it is a fall-winter color for me, so we'll kind of have to see where I put it after I get those 50 uses in the current project. Got that much used up, so again, decent amount of progress on that guy too. And finally, a lipstick you haven't seen yet, and uh, I haven't used yet, so hopefully this is okay. This is from Yurash. There we go. There it is. This is the ooh, thermal moisturizing lipstick with thermal water pout. Oh, with thermal water powder to hydrate, restore, and protect. Now, the reason why I'm putting this into my plan to pan is because it expires in June of 2024. That seems fine for now. It looks like this. So it's a lip balm lipstick. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But. Obviously, it's never been used, so there's a lot of lipstick there to use up. So we'll see how this one goes. And if I don't like it, I mean, it's going to expire soon anyway. Let's do the balms next. That's kind of a nice transition to balms. Current ones, again, Throwback 30, the Burt's Bees Moisturizing Lip Balm in Strawberry. These are fine. Yeah, I've got still probably a fair amount to use up. Yeah, yeah, that's still a lot of lip balm still to use up. That's going to take some time. And then also in a project in Partners in Cream, I have the Bali Balm, which has been open for a little while. This is a stupid expensive lip balm, but it is so nice. And this one particularly is in Sweet Orange and Coconut. I have tried really hard to, you know, squeeze everything down. And that gets me to there ish or so so has it moved it feels like no but this is what i've been using at night as my overnight lip sleeping mask just kind of really layering this one up and i do enjoy it just there's not a whole lot left so gotta get that one used up and then slightly different from chapstick this is their total hydration lip oil the vitamin rich lip oil in peach tea it looks like this those are my progress marks as they're fading. Last one is there. There? There. Yeah. So, and I've been using it a little bit since then because it's still in lip service. 
So it's moving quickly as I actually use it. And some lip glosses. So first up, we have the one that I keep in my work bag. This is a mini in from NARS in their Aftershine Lip in Orgasm. So you can see a nice progress line right there, which is a little bit below the current progress line. So a little bit of progress for the next updated throwback 30. And then finally, that's currently in Roses and Red for 14 uses, but I would like to use up this year, my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Ruby. Um, you can see there's some good windowing happening. So it's somewhat-ish settled. And there we've got a massive doe foot. Um, smells nice. I would say this is my favorite lip gloss formula at this particular moment. So I do really enjoy it. So I'd like to get it used up. But there we go. That was a lot, a lot of makeup items. So that's going to wrap up the current batch of the makeup items that I would like to hopefully pan in 2024. And again, most of these are probably going to go into projects. Some of these may be pan behind the scenes. But of course, make sure you are seeing my monthly empties because that's where some of these things will be creeping up. So lots of things that I want to pan. And of course, if there's makeup that I had planned to pan in 2023 that I didn't get to, which I think I will get it all done. I think. We'll see. I'll have to double check my list from last year, but I think that was quite successful. So we'll see what I can do with this current table here. But thank you so much for joining me for the plan to pan makeup for 2024. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below, including what you are specifically wanting to pan this year. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.